A gun rights movement that has many in law enforcement worried seems to be gaining ground here in the Bay Area. Precisely how many people are involved is unclear, but those who are are remarkably open about what they advocate and do. KTVU's Lloyd LaQuesta has the story in tonight's special report. One radio call that immediately gets the attention of police officers is man with a gun. I'm at Cherry Orchard uh, Starbucks, uh -huh. and um, there's a gentleman that just walked in, and he's got a gun on his hip that looks loaded and two magazines. For the past six months, 27-year-old David Julian has been walking around Sunnyvale and Cupertino carrying an unloaded Beretta 92FS strapped to his leg. He is part of a national movement known as Open Carry. Julian and others say they are just exercising a constitutional Second Amendment right to bear arms. If more people carried, you'd have a reduction in crime, and uh, I think that that's an all-around good thing. Open carriers meet in public places, such as this Cupertino Starbucks. When we were there, no one seemed to notice or care. Even a police officer driving by failed to see the group drinking coffee outside with their weapons in plain sight. Greg Harvey joined the movement two months ago and now has his Glock 22 at his side at all times. There is a little sense of security. That's probably more why I, why I do it, and it's, it's my right. In California, you can do it as long as the gun is in plain sight, unloaded, and in a holster. A person does have a legal right to carry a weapon, a firearm, uh, displayed openly on their person in a public place. Now, we have to keep in mind, Lloyd, that the weapon cannot be loaded and the ammunition cannot be attached to the gun in any way. But California law does allow bullets to be close at hand. So I keep it here on my left side, just like that. And if you were have to uh, load, how long would it take you? Just about two seconds. Any time uh, a firearm is involved in uh, an incident, uh, the potential for that incident to escalate is there. David Julian says he carries more than a gun and ammo to protect his rights. Another, another piece of my kit is an iPod that uh, has a little small video camera. Do you mind if I check your gun? I do mind. I don't consent to any searches of my person or my property. Okay, that's fine. However, I do have the right to just check that it's unloaded. Correct. That's all I'm doing. Who is to say that the gun is actually loaded? We don't know. I mean, that's the reason why the officers constantly make contact with these individuals. In 1967, the Black Panthers showed up at the state legislature in Sacramento carrying loaded weapons. The legislature soon changed the law in response to limit open carrying to unloaded weapons. At an appearance of President Obama in Phoenix this past summer, open carry advocates showed up with automatic weapons. How do we protect the public? and ourselves in dealing with somebody that clearly has a firearm uh, on their person. In Sunnyvale, officers have been issued clear-cut directives in accordance with state law. I appreciate it. The weapon can be inspected. There can be no search for the gun's serial number. The open carrier cannot be within 1,000 feet of a school, on the grounds of a college or university, or in government buildings or secure areas of airports. People with drug or violent crime convictions or mental disorders cannot open carry. David Julian says he is nervous when he is not carrying his gun and feels everyone should arm themselves. I think you increase the level of politeness. People aren't likely to maybe, you know, yell obscenities at you or maybe be rude if they think that you um, are armed. That's, that's sort of living out of fear that you're going to pull the gun out and shoot me. No, I don't know about fear, but maybe respect. I'm not suggesting that a person would carry to demand respect. Obviously, police officers aren't doing that for that reason. They're doing it to protect themselves. It's the same reason They're I do They're doing it. that to protect you and I. Well, police officers don't have any duty or legal requirement to protect you and I. Sunnyvale Public Safety Captain Doug Moretto points out a department memorial for fallen officers. Two were gunned down. We have a, a difficult time understanding uh, the, the point of, of this. Uh, what, what value does this bring to the community right now? If I felt that my life was in danger, I'd protect myself. Which means that you reach over and load up? Correct. In Cupertino, Lloyd LaQuesta, KTVU Channel 2 News.